Okay, what does the writing mean? Here are two Nikkor lenses. These are the early versions with the scalloped metal focusing rings produced between 1959 and 1975. These are both 24 millimeter f2.8 lenses, identical optical construction, but the writing around the um, around the front element is slightly different. Why? And what does it mean? Here's what you need to know. First of all, let's take a look at the word auto. Okay, both lenses have the word auto. What does that mean, auto? It does not mean autofocus. It does not mean auto exposure. It means auto return diaphragm. When you take an exposure, the diaphragm, that is the blades of the aperture, will shut down to the working aperture. The camera will take the exposure. And then the lens, the, the lens diaphragm, the aperture blades, will open back up automatically. On very early SLR lenses, this had to be done manually. That is, the lens had to be opened back up manually. Um, that was the case with some very early uh, production SLR lenses. Uh, by the early 60s, certainly the mid-60s, most lenses were auto-return diaphragm. So the, the, the information became largely superfluous. Uh, nonetheless, moving on to the next piece of information, we see 1 colon 2.8. That is a convention for identifying the maximum aperture of 2.8. Next, the focal length, 24 millimeters. You know what that means, right? It's fairly, fairly simple. The next piece of information, this is where the differences begin. On this lens, we have the serial number followed by the word Nikon. On this lens, we have the phrase Nippon Kogaku Japan followed by the serial number. For the shooter, the difference between these two, um, uh, the, these two styles of writing is irrelevant. The earlier lenses, earlier production lenses said Nippon Kogaku Japan, later production said Nikon. This is of interest strictly to collectors. If you're a shooter, it makes no difference whatsoever. For shooters, the interesting stuff appears right after the word Nikkor. After the word Nikkor here, you see a letter. This one says N, this one says NC. The N indicates the number of elements. These are nine element lenses. The N indicates the first letter of the uh, of the name for the number of elements in Latin. Uh, so N actually doesn't stand for nine, it stands for whatever nine is in Latin, I'm not sure. Um, but for example, a four element lens would have a Q uh, for quarter, quattro, what have you. Five element lens would have a P for penta. Um, six element lens would have an H for hex. Uh, seven element lens would have an S for sept or septa. Uh, eight element lenses would have an O for octopus or you know whatever. You get the, you get the idea. N nine, okay, nine element lenses. So this one is followed by a C. It says N, and then there's a little dot and a C. The C means coated. In about 1971, Nikon began multi coating their lenses. This lens is single coated. This lens is multi coated. That's really the most significant piece of information. If you're a shooter, if you're going to use these lenses for, for, uh, for shooting instead of you know, putting on a shelf like a collector, uh, the presence or absence of multi-coating is important. And when you're shopping for pre-AI lenses, this is worth a premium. Although, if you shop around online, generally, they don't sell for any more. I, I really I haven't noticed much of a price difference, if any, between the multi-coated lenses and the single-coated single lenses. Um, so, apparently that piece of information has not been absorbed by the market because I'm guessing a lot of people just don't know. Well, now you know, so you can make a more informed decision uh, when you're buying classic pre-AI Nikon lenses. And I think that about covers it. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.